Good morning, this is Data Explorers and I'm Jessica Johnson. Regulatory news first of all, Reuters and many other global publications have reported that there is a distinct lack of evidence that any short, uh, aggressive short selling has taken place since the ban was lifted last Friday the 16th of September. By Wednesday's deadline, only seven positions have been declared on financial stocks and only two of those are on major banks using our data to back this up. The chairman of the FSA, Adair Turner, has also said there is no evidence to suggest that short selling had led to a significant fall in banking shares. On to stock specific now, and we're going to talk about mining stocks. And in the UK, Vedanta Resources has um, an earnings release today, and Vedanta is down 2.32%, um, and it has also seen a significant amount of short covering from nearly 9% of its shares outstanding on loan in August to 4.4% now. The London listed company's share price has fallen from 2,000p in July to 500p now, which means that short investors have taken profits from this stock, closing out the positions on the way as the price continues to fall. Um, Utilisation is at 42%, which is the percentage of the available supply on loan, down from 50% in December. BHP Billiton's London listing, up 1.2% today, has also seen a low amount of short interest at the moment, down from 2% of its shares outstanding on loan in November to 0.5% now, and the spike that you can see earlier on last year is a dividend arbitrage trade and not short interest, um, with utilisation at 4%. Um, the mining company's share price has risen from 800p to 1,200p over the last two months. Now for BHP's Sydney listing, um, up 0.16% today. Um, this has seen um, some short covering as well, down from 6% of its shares at signing and loan in July to 1.4% now, with utilisation at 10%. The company's share price has fallen from 40 Aussie dollars in September to 30 now, but up from 20 in late November. And lastly, in the United States, Alcoa Inc., listed on the S&P 500, has just seen a large rise in its short position, up from 2% of its shares outstanding on loan to just under 6% now. Um, so that's tripling there. Um, short investors came to the trade fractionally late, missing the company's dramatic fall in share price during August and September, down from $30 to $17, so halving in the space of eight weeks. And you can find more about that and the rest of the short interest news that you require on www.dataexplorers.com. Many thanks. Have a great day.